Welcome to CBS This Morning. France's government is striking back hard in response to the Paris terror attacks. Police raided more than 150 locations overnight all over France. There is a massive manhunt for the last of the eight suspects who killed 129 people in Friday's attack. And this morning we are learning new details about the alleged mastermind of the terror strike. His name is Abdel Hamid Abaoud, and he is a Belgian man believed to be living in Syria. And that's where French warplanes are launching new attacks. They targeted several ISIS positions in Syria overnight. We have correspondents around the world covering this still unfolding story. And we begin in Paris with CBS Evening News anchor and managing editor Scott Pelley. Scott, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Charlie, great to be with you. There is an intense manhunt all over Europe this morning for a man named Salah Abdi Salam. The French authorities describe him as the eighth terrorist and accomplice to the seven who were killed on Friday. Four of the suicide bombers were French citizens, and so overnight there were hundreds of searches and arrests all throughout the country. Under the state of emergency, which is due to last three months, French police have the right to arrest and search without a warrant. Overseas, the French struck quickly. France launched a series of airstrikes against ISIS targets in Raqqa, Syria, the self-proclaimed capital of ISIS. The French say they hit an ISIS headquarters and a training camp. The arrest of Salah Abdisalam would be a major break. Police say he was the driver of the car that delivered the attackers to the concert hall, where 89 people were killed. There is also a dragnet out for his two brothers. French authorities said this morning that they have deported 34 people already, conducted 168 house searches, seizing weapons, computers, and bulletproof vests. In the midst of all of this action, France managed to stop for one minute today. At noon, about an hour ago, in villages and cities, there was a moment of silence for all of those killed and wounded a moment to contemplate an uncertain future. We are expecting many more airstrikes from the French in Syria over the coming days. The United States has been supplying intelligence and targeting information for the French military. Charlie? Uh, Scott, you've been there since Saturday. This is three days after the attack. Tell us about the French and how they're responding on the streets to this tragedy. Charlie, it is exactly the way we felt after 9-11. There is a palpable fear that it's not over, that there could be another attack at any moment or on any day. Last night, I was at Notre Dame, and the rumor spread through the crowd that another attack was underway, and people just began to run. So there is a great sense of nervousness, about what could happen next, uh, mixed in with this sense of sadness as well, a, a sense of uncertainty about what the next days and months will bring. Thank you, Scott. Scott Pelley in Paris.